What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel Simply Reefing. I know, I know, I know it's been a while since I've talked to you guys about the tank and what's going on with it. Um, life, man. that's pretty much what it is. Life gets in the way of everybody. And unfortunately I had to, you know, take some time away, going to focus on myself and uh, work on the tank and everything and just trying to get everything situated here. But <clears throat> Just wanted to let you guys know I am still here. The tank is still doing good and we got things moving along. Um, so if you guys are new to the channel here, um, this is my Cade 1800 uh, Peninsula tank um, for lighting. Uh, we have four G5 Radions, um, the XR30s and we pretty much have a 265 gallon aquarium all set up packed with a mixed reef type of setup here uh, leaning towards more SPS uh, so we have SPS we have LPS we have some softies here and things are looking great it's been a lot of changes since uh, last spoke to you guys on the tank uh, I think the last thing I did on here was the uh, the new calcium reactor from Geo. Got that set up. It's been working pretty well. Um, I need to go in and re refill the uh, CO2 tank uh, so I can get that taken care of. I looked at that today. Um, other than that, nothing much changed with the lighting on this setup here. I'm looking to uh, upgrading these to probably the G6 Blues, uh, see how that goes. Um, but other than that, everything else has been doing okay. Um, as far as the wave makers here, the MP40s are still running on this tank. And I also have the Nero 7 on this side. Um, it's actually been doing pretty well. I've had my little, my little um, concerns with it because of how the flow pattern is and things like that. Uh, I would like a gyro up here, but I know um, for me and cleaning and things like that with the gyres, uh, it's not a, not a fun process. I have a set of gyres on my frag tank, and as far as cleaning those, it's, it's a bit of a process also too. But um, the flow is good. It gets a lot of the flow from one side of the tank over to the other, and everything's been working great there. Um, Corals are growing. A lot of things need to get fragged. You guys hear some of the sticks in the back here. I gotta prune some things back and frag a few things back um, and get that taken care of here. Mainly like this, uh, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the TSA fuzz over here is getting really, 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 really big. And I've pruned it back a couple times already, but it still needs a bit of have a haircut. It has grown since the last time I cut it. Same thing goes with a couple of these other pieces. Um, I'm pruning them back mainly so I can uh, obviously have some frags available for the shows coming up and just for on the website and also to have um, some light make it all the way down to the bottom here. Uh, a couple things that I did change was the placement of the ACANs. I put the Monty cap over here. Not sure what I'm going to do with that one, uh, as it's it's not growing into place that I want to. But we'll figure that out. But I went ahead and moved all the egg hands over to the uh, more of the front and a lower flow. I uh, realized that they were getting hammered by the flow for a while. Once I moved them over there, the polyps were able to extend. Uh, I was actually getting a lot a lot fluffier, and things looked much better. So. Um, that's happened in the past week, few weeks here. This hammer, I'm going to need to probably take a look at it, see what's going on with it. Sorry about that. Um, I may take that out or I like, like I'm also thinking about is pruning this massive um, frog spawn that's over here. And that thing is just, it's a huge piece. Let me see if I can get a good top down of it. It's a massive head of of coral and I think I mean to prune it all because of how it's growing into the other hammer that's over here I think that's causing a bit of an issue um, a lot of the pruning is gonna also happen with 
this. Uh, I think it's a TGC uh, Starfire. Um, Got to cut this back a bit. As you can see, I've cut some pieces back. As you can see, the, uh, the more of the core lights are straight and you have some that's pointed out on the sides. That's all the previous cutout that I did. Um, I had to cut it back away from the, uh, the cherry bomb on this side and another piece on this side over also too. It's not in focus here, but yeah, definitely got to cut this back too. Uh, do some pruning on that. Uh, let's see what else has been added on here. I just moved a couple pieces around, getting things situated in this tank. This <clears throat> was a good idea at first with this Monty cap here. Um, it has grown into its own monster and it has shaded out the, uh, I think I had a stylo in the back. It's still growing way in the back there, but it's pretty shaded. Uh, I'm probably gonna chop off everything from here. I may decide to put some SPS in here um, in this middle section. Been debating on that mainly because of how this thing is growing out and down, you know. It's pretty much at some point it's going to touch the side of the the aquarium here. It's pretty much right there. Uh, one more thing that I did add it on add on here was this speciosa. Um, I don't even know what kind it is. To be honest with you, I saw the colors on it. It was a green base, um, yellow tips with the the reddish polyps. Uh, last speciosa I had in here checked out completely. As you guys know how much those go for. That was not a good, <laughs> a good chunk to lose, but I got this one here for a good price, so it's holding on pretty well. Um, I will just see what it does in, in, in the long term here. Uh, let's see what else is going on here with this tank. Nothing else really, everything is just growing. Um, like I said, it's just a lot of cutting back and keeping things uh, at bay. And you know, there are times where I will let things collide and figure it out but the larger pieces when they clash into the smaller pieces like what's going to happen here um, between this valley the the fuzz and the rainbow splice it's going to pretty much smash everything it's going to smash into everything here i'm not even sure what that's going to look like but i'm going to cut it back so i don't wait to see what happens so other than that like i said about like i was talking about the acans um some of them are back here i've added a couple pieces um I don't put them all on rocks. I put them on these little discs, mainly because I, I can move them around if I want to uh, reposition, reposition them once they start to grow out a little bit more and a skeleton starts to encrust over everything there. And then I can probably position them and get the colors arranged and things like that. Because a lot of these times, um, some of your rainbow acans will change colors and it, it, it just happens and others will stay the same. So it's easier for me just to move things around. Uh, as far as a couple of the blastos going on here, I've had my ups and downs with blastos. These are the ones that have that have held on the long, the longest here and are doing pretty well. Um, like I said, I got some zoas. Um, as far as the softies, it's mainly what's in here for softies is is more or less zoas. Uh, I have a couple of different ones. Uh, I go to some of the Bob Marley Bob Marleys in the back here. The cheesecake, I believe that's what they were calling it. Bower Banky's doing pretty well. Um, I got this Bower Banky and also this Bower over here. Not too happy, I've been shuffling around. I did have it over here where this chalice and about the blaster was um, previous. And I think the shrimp uh, constantly jumping on top of it, trying to get food, irritated it to the point where it's recessed inside of, its, inside of the skeleton for a little bit. Um, you can see some of the, the millies here doing pretty well. They were all both frags of the same size. This one's taken off better than the other. Um, I would love for the, this one to grow out a lot better because the colors initially when it first came in were awesome. And I'm hoping that that comes back, but only time will tell. Uh, let's see, I think that's pretty much it in, in here. Uh, as far as the sump, and everything that's going on down <clears throat> down bottom. Um, skimmer still still rocking and rolling. Still still got the reef octo on this tank, and I did add on the CO2 scrubber. Um, I think this is the ice cap 
Uh, their medium one uh, works pretty well. I think I get about a month. Um, sometimes a little bit over a month, just about a month in, in average there of use on it. And I just refill it with the, uh, the media that you can get off of Amazon there. It's in a white container. I forget exactly what that media was called, but that's pretty much it. Like I said, this tank's doing well. It's just more or less growing and cutting things back um, and pruning things and just trying to, you know, get everything to grow and look great. There's a lot of cores in here that I know have a lot more potential as far as colors and there's others that I haven't seen their full potential with any of their colors and anything like that. So as it is with this hobby, it's a lot of just trial and error. And then once you get everything situated, um, the ball starts rolling. So I love this little pile of snails that always gathers early in the morning. It's like at night they go out, do their thing and then First thing in the morning, you know, I'll pile up in this corner. So, yeah, got a few of the, the corals going on. I did try to put all the egg hands here, but the, um, the Ghani here did not like that at all and almost got rid of a few of the egg hands that was pretty close to it. I thought it would have been the opposite, but it looks like the Ghani pretty much took up um, stood up for themselves and let me know do not to put a do not put any a cans on this side over here um, and I think that's really it and I do have that tank over there I'm going to talk to you guys here in about a moment um, that just got set up really quickly here for a nice little project but all in all like I said before I'm going to frag up a lot of these um, if you guys are looking for any frags, uh, go and check out Blue Water Reef. I wouldn't put the link at the bottom. Um, this is pretty much where a lot of the, a lot of my frags and the corals are showing up online um, with them. <coughs> pretty much partnered up with them um, recently to go ahead and, you know, a lot of times you guys who grow SPS, you guys who sell them, you know what happens. They start growing, you start cutting them back. You don't want to throw them out. You don't want to get rid of them but somebody wants them. So that's pretty much what's going on there. Uh, same thing goes with a lot of the, the LPS and things like that. But when these SPS start going, they start growing. So that brings me over to this tank here. And this is the new system that I'm working on here. Um, I set this up maybe about, I said a week or two ago. And this was kind of like an emergency uh, tank set up in, its, in, in short. So originally the plan was to have the, was it the um, Innovative Marine uh, 25 Lagoon. I uh, did a little short video on that. If anybody's looking for any more updates, please don't, there won't be any more. I took that tank down. Um, the original plan was to have torches in there. I, my eyes saw more than what was happening and once I started to put the torches in there, I realized the head height of the torch, the torches and things like that was not going to work for the tank with what I had imagined. So this is going to be the new setup. Um, this, I traded a few corals with a local hobbyist for the whole tank. And before I start going further into it, it is a Pro Clear 90. I think it's a 60 gallon tank altogether, um, including the sump. Um, I got the tank in the stand, um, everything else I had, I, I had prior before the lid at the top here and pretty much so let's, let's start from top down. Um, these are the new site K7, um, version threes. You guys have seen it on the pre the previous videos that I have done before. These are not going to be the permanent lights on this tank, <clears throat> but they are the lights for right now. And they're doing well, like you guys, like you guys know. Um, I like the lights. It's just not something uh, that is easable, easily controllable for me. So therefore, I don't really like using them in this kind of a setup. Um, I have other plans with them. They've been around, but they're mainly my lights that I use to kind of set up things and I just kind of temporarily set up. Um, uh, or use them for a temporary setup. So that, um, I picked up a lid, 
mainly for the animal that is currently in here. I don't want him to hop out or climb out. Um, that should be a small hint. But for right now, I just got this, the rock work um, and aquascape done on this. There is an elegance coral in here. It is not going to be in here. It is just here for me to kind of just test a few things out and see if everything is good. Um, the rock work, I think I set this up in a day and yeah, I like it, I like it. So far, it's okay. Um, had the cleanup crew in here so far. I mean, it added, add a few more snails and things like that. Primarily, it's a bunch of snails. I have some of the ammo crabs. There is a peppermint shrimp, I think, under this rock. Um, and that's it. There is a little blue sponge. We'll get into that at a later date, but there's a nice blue sponge that's in here. As far as going down to the bottom here, excuse the bit of a mess. Um, just need to tidy up everything once I get a chance to within this went through. I'm sorry. Once I get into this whole thing. Um, but down bottom, let's see. Uh, as far as power, it comes with a power strip from the factory. Um, I added on my EB8 um, that I repaired a few few years ago uh, that came in handy. I'll do just piggyback off of my Apex, Apex brain from um, that tank over there. And just ran, I think it was a 25 foot um, USB from one end to the other. And I can go ahead and control all the, the outlets on everything on this tank. So that's, that's a bit of a plus there for me there. Um, if I need to add anything else, I can, because it has all the, the extra outlets for me to do those things. But for right now, controlling the outlets is priority. Um, let's see, I think that's pretty much it as far as power goes. That's what's there for right now. Like I said, I just set this whole thing up. Um, the plumbing and the guts of everything here, it comes with this uh, nice little sump. So it's like half of the tank is available cabinet space and the other side is the sump um, it had some uh, stickers for the water level so you know where your water level is at it does come with filter socks these are just ones that i've have because um, i've been going through the filter socks cleaning up everything um, the first chamber is your drain and you can see i have the eheim uh, heater in here so got the water comes in drains goes through the bottom um, it's a weird little slit at the bottom and it's at, a, at, a, at an angle. Not sure why the reason for the design on that. I'm pretty certain there is a reason, but a little slit goes through the bottom over to where you see the skimmer. Um, the skimmer that I'm using on this is my old um, uh, Bubble Magnus uh, Curve 5. I've had this guy for a few years now. I've used it in my 75 gallon and a couple other little frag tanks and things like that and it works well runs off of a CJ pump so no problems there at all um, as far as the return it is the uh, reef octo varios s um, and that is pretty much it the plumbing is set here as far as auto top off it comes with a auto top off um, reservoir that sits at the top and it works off of a uh, float uh, low, oh, let me see, geez, lost words here. So it works off of that float valve that's there. And all I do is just pretty much hard wire it to my, my RO system over here that I use on the main um, K tank. So that is it in a nutshell right now for this tank. Um, like I said before, the plan originally was to have the torches in this system uh, when it had the 25 Lagoon and that is going to be what the plan is going forward on this. Uh, pretty much after I'm done with this video, I think we're gonna go and go over to the frag tank and start chopping up some of those uh, pieces over there and getting them placed and planted in here so I can get this uh, tank up and running. But part of the reason that this really did get set up was because I did wanna have an octopus in this tank and that actually came through. Um, so about two weeks ago, I got the call and it said, hey, uh, octopus is here and it's ready to go. I said, oh, shoot. Okay. And this is where we are right now. Now, he's in this little cave right up in here, but obviously you guys aren't going to see him from here. 
but I do have some videos of when he was in a tank walking around, just hanging out and things like that. Um, other than that, you guys just stay tuned for the rest of what's going to happen here, any updates and things like that. And I will keep you guys updated as best as I can. Like I said, there's been a whole lot has been going on. Just trying to get life situated um, with all of these tanks and just get myself together with everything else. Um, other than that, I will go ahead and give you guys some more updates on this system and the Cade. Like I told you guys before, the Cade is it's just growing. So that's really where the amount of updates and things are going to be happening here. It's just what's going on here. What's going on here? Uh, what's growing? Uh, what's growing? How things look? And that's pretty much it. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, go and leave them in the comments below. Um, for those have been, that have been leaving comments, I'm going to go in and try to get through those and reply to them as best as I can here. But like I said, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments, and I will check you guys out on the next one. Peace.